Hello, you deeply attractive person. This is Chris from Techspert, and I'm here with, in my personal opinion, two of the best smartphones you can buy right now at the beginning of 2019. Here on the left, you've got the Honor View 20, otherwise known as the Honor V20, uh, just launching here in the UK in January 2019. And on the right, the OnePlus 6T, which came out at the arse end of 2018. Both pack incredible specs and great features, but they're also two very different handsets as well. So we're going to do a full side-by-side -side on everything you need to know. And don't forget, for more of the latest and greatest mobile tech, to pog subscribe and ding that notification notifications bell. Cheers! So let's start with design and of course like all modern mobiles the Honor V20 and the OnePlus 6T are both absolute beasts. Uh, 6.4 inches the Honor V20, the OnePlus 6T is a Nats Pube bigger at 6.41 inches. Well that means is of course they're both a bit of a handful. If you've got teeny mitts like me you'll be struggling to reach all the way up to that notifications bar. Thankfully you do get some help here on the OnePlus 6T you can drag it down from anywhere on the screen with a quick swipe like so. You do actually get a dedicated one-handed mode here on the Honor View 20 which makes it much easier to use your apps for instance just tap into them as you can see they're already shrunken down so it's much much easier to flick around. If we flip them around to the back however you'll see they sport a very different design indeed despite the fact that they're both constructed from glass. In the case of the OnePlus 6T uh, you can actually pick it up in a couple of different finishes. This is the kind of frosted glass, almost metallic style finish, but you can pick it up with a bit of a glossy sheen similar to the V20 if you like it as well. And it's available in a couple of different colours, including Thunder Purple and the new Special Edition McLaren version as well, which is kind of nice. But all of them do have a very basic sort of straightforward design, as you can see there. No real sort of frills or flare, very simple. In comparison, the Honor V20 Sports is very funky design as you can see there. It's kind of similar to the one first introduced on the Honor 10 where when it catches the light it's got this funky striation style effect of course it's in the shape of a V of course because it is the View 20. Again you can pick it up in a couple of different hues though it's basically light blue, dark blue or black so not much in the way of choice. But it definitely looks more funky than the OnePlus 6T there's no denying that. Which one you prefer will of course come down to your own personal tastes. If we go down under it's no surprise they both use Type-C USB in order to charge up. However only the Honor View 20 actually supports a 35 millimeter headphone jack so if you want to use your old wired pair of phones with the OnePlus 6T you'll need to either use a dongle which is provided in the box or get a bit of type C on the go. Both phones so far are proven fairly rugged although there are a couple of light scratches here on the Honor View 20 which are kind of hard to pick out just got that from generally treating it rather poorly indeed as I do with all my review phones just to see how rugged they really are. In the case of the OnePlus 60 this is an absolute bit. This is the Jason Statham of phones. This is Jason Statham times Bruce Lee basically. Um, it just will not scratch or scuff up. Um, probably if you attack it with like a, a butcher's knife or something it'll it'll get a little dint here or there. But overall very impressive. That Gorilla Glass 5 back in very very strong indeed and you do get Gorilla Glass 6 on the front as well and that's uh, protected by a bonus screen protector as well. Uh, here on the Honor View 20 you also get a pre-installed screen protector. Um, so no scratches on the actual displays themselves, touch words. Unfortunately neither phone has proper IP certification when it comes to water resistance. Uh, OnePlus has added some uh, waterproof and measures to the OnePlus 6T however. Um, they just helped work with all the little ports, they've added in some spongy bits just to soak up any moisture that gets in there. So we found that like the View 20 in fact both of them they'll happily survive a quick drop into a sink or a, a severe soaking in a rainstorm but definitely you do not want to submerge them for any length of time in any body of water. And one other difference in the designs is definitely worth mentioning as well is the fact that you get a physical fingerprint sensor mounted here on the back of the Honor View 20 but as, as you'll see no such thing here on the OnePlus 6T and that's because it's actually built into the display split itself. Got to admit I'm not a massive fan of those in-screen fingerprint sensors. They can be a little bit touchy to say the least. Uh, here on the OnePlus 6T though it does seem pretty responsive and accurate. I rarely get a misread from it. Occasionally it'll take a little while reading my print. Uh, generally if I've not quite got it bang on centre or if there's strong light in the room. I've had no such troubles from the actual physical fingerprint sensor here on the Honor View 20. Quick tap and you're basically straight into your desktops, no delay whatsoever and very 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 rarely get a misread and only if your hands are like seriously wet or grubby. However one feature which the OnePlus 60 has which the Honor View 20 doesn't is the alert slider currently hidden away here on this right edge. It's really really handy if you're constantly dodging into meetings all you need to do is a quick flick up to the very top to put it into do not disturb and if you just flick it to that central position it goes into vibrate mode as well so a great way of making sure it doesn't ring out in the middle of any of your important get togethers. So onto those displays as I mentioned before they're about the same sort of size 6.4 versus 6.41 however they are different technologies as well as you can probably tell from the flickering here on the OnePlus 6T that is an AMOLED display whereas you get a bit of IPS LCD action here on the Honor View 
2020. They're both full HD plus resolution, so as you can see there, tiny text, nice and legible. Uh, images look nice and crisp as well. You can probably see a bit better there, the tiny little intrusions from the notch and the pinhole camera. Uh, you pretty much forget they're there to be honest, most of the time. And you can probably also see the colors are reproduced in a very different manner with the default uh, color settings as well. That's uh, even more apparent on another image here. You can certainly notice the difference between the two and the likes of the, the sort of the pinks, the reds, the more sort of vibrant hues there. But as I say, this is all down to the actual uh, default color settings. You can fiddle with them go into the settings on both smartphones. Jump into the color and screen calibration modes. As you can see there, the view 20 set to vivid by default. If you knock that onto normal, that sort of takes some of the boldness and the depth out of those colors for a more sort of realistic, natural looking image instead. Personally, I prefer the vivid mode. Here on the OnePlus 6T, I actually like having it in the adaptive mode that sort of tweaks the colors depending on exactly what you're doing, what app you're using at the time. You can get sRGB if you use that particular color gamut and uh, you want to do a good bit of photo editing. DCI P3 as well, of course, you've got all kinds of stuff and you can even have a bit of a play around with the uh, color temperature and everything as you can here on the View 20 as well. And if we just momentarily stick them both on maximum brightness as well, you'll see uh, certainly don't have any trouble with either of these smartphones on a really bright, sunshiny day. Uh, they're both powerful enough to really pack a punch and uh, clearly legible, as I say, even when you're outdoors and the sun is actually shining, as it doesn't here in the UK. Definitely slightly more impressed with the audio out of the OnePlus 6T, though the View 20, it's a little bit weaker and tinnier. Uh, it's absolutely fine in a nice quiet room like this, but once you get into a noisy environment, I do struggle to hear what is going on if I'm watching a bit of Netflix or something. Just a tiny little mono speaker here at the bottom, uh, which outputs all of the noise. If you cover that up, it's pretty much fully obscured. Here on the OnePlus 60, again, it's just the bottom mounted speakers. Uh, and in fact, most of the output seems to come out of the left side here. Um, uh, but it's definitely more powerful, more powerful audio, uh, slightly less tinny, although you still wouldn't want to listen to music via this thing. But yeah, and those noisier environments, definitely easier to make out what's going on when you're watching a bit of YouTube or something. And when it comes to the software, the good news is that both the Honor View 20 and the OnePlus 6T both support the latest version of Android version 9, uh, which is of course Android Pie. However, the overall software experience is very different as well, however, because you've got Honor's magic UI, basically Huawei's Emotion UI, slapped on top of the Honor V20, and you've got a bit of Oxygen OS here on the OnePlus 6T. That gives you a very different feature set. So for instance, here on Oxygen OS, you've got the shelf feature, which basically gives you fast access to your favorite contacts, your favorite apps, things like that. Here on the Honor View 20, you do just, of course, have the usual Google feed. Now, of course, I already touched on the one-handed board, and there's plenty of other features as well, buried away in the settings that are unique to both handsets. So for instance, here on the Honor View 20, you get the digital balance, which is basically a kind of a kid's mode. Uh, you can turn on screen time management, set it to this is my kid's phone, and then you can specify exactly how much daily screen time they have, what time they're supposed to be going to bed, all that kind of shenanigans. You do, of course, get all kinds of gesture support on both these handsets as well. So you've got full motion control, as it's called here on Magic UI, and buttons and gestures here on the OnePlus 6T. As you see, you've got all kinds of quick gesture support. So for instance, flipping the phone over to mood, picking it up in order to answer a phone call, things like that. You can also completely ditch that navigation dock and just use gestures if you prefer to do that. And I actually do, to be honest. On both phones, this basically works the same way. It just means you can flick up from the bottom of the screen in order to get rid of an app. You can flick up and hold in order to bring up your recent apps. And if you're actually already in an app, just quick flick from the side, takes you back, it's great stuff. I could honestly spend ages going into all the little differences and nuances of Magic UI and Oxygen OS. They're both great though, they're both two of my favorite overlays and the overall software experience is very strong on both of them. And so now onto the subject of performance. The great news is that even though both these smartphones cost around the 500 pound or under mark, they actually pack really premium performance. Here on the Honor View 20, it's actually slightly better. They've got the latest Huawei Kirin 980 chipset. Uh, we've only seen this in the Mate 20 series so far and this little bad boy here. So definitely fantastic performance for the price point. Here on the OnePlus 16 doesn't disappoint either though, it's a Snapdragon 845, so it's Qualcomm's over a year old now chip. Uh, but in both cases as well, they're backed by the six or eight gigs of RAM, depending on which model you get. Now with both phones, of course, you just tap an app and immediately they load straight up, no hanging about whatsoever. Great stuff. 
We have actually run a bit of Geekbench on both of these as well. The Honor smartphones, they tend to uh, block Geekbench. You usually can't even install it, but I've actually managed to get it running on the Honor View 20. As you can see there, in a straight up benchmark battle, the Huawei Kirin 980 on the Honor View 20 definitely has it. Both the single core score and the multi core score are better than what you'll find on the OnePlus 6T. But of course, the OnePlus 6T score is still very, very strong indeed. And if you're a gamer, good news is the likes of PUBG runs like a dream on both mobiles. You do have game specific features on both handsets as well. On the Honor View 20 and the OnePlus 6T, you can block notifications, for instance, uh, so you're not disturbed during a uh, gaming session. It's actually slightly more advanced here on the OnePlus 6T, so for instance, you can choose to answer any calls that come in while you're gaming via the speaker, which is great. And both handsets can optimize uh, the phone performance as well, so basically the major resources are dedicated to the game so you don't get stuff in the background slowing you down. You'll see if we dive on into the graphic settings, uh, both can be set to HDR level uh, with that high frame rate option as well, and they both run perfectly nicely. There's a bit of it in action. As you can see, the view from above, very, very strong indeed. Nice, strong detail down on the island below. Definitely good when planning your landing strategy. We've actually managed to get in the same game here with both uh, smartphones. Hello. So I've actually just set them both running off in the same direction. Oh, I'm getting shot in the arse, always fun. As you can see there, nice smooth frame rate, uh, despite being on that high detail level, so that's always great. These guys are not gonna last long, I'll tell you that much. And there you go, and as I say, I happily blast through uh, full games on both these devices, no problem whatsoever. Um, no stumbles or stammers, especially helped along by the GPU turbo feature, of course, here on the View 20 as well, which helps to maintain a nice smooth frame rate. If you dive on into the storage, you actually get a choice on both handsets uh, between 128 gigs, which is what both these devices are, or 256 gigs. So you definitely won't be wanting for space any time soon. No micro SD memory card support on either of these devices, however. And as for the battery tech, the Honor View 20 definitely impresses more when it comes to the battery life. Uh, it's got 4,000 milliamp cell, absolutely massive, enormous battery, and it tends to last us a good two days between charges with sort of everyday use. So that's instant messaging, and Skype, and a uh, good bit of camera use, lots of web browsers and things like that. If you start hammering it with the games and uh, the Skype calls, then it's more like a day to a day and a half. Here on the OnePlus 6T, you get a 3,700 milliamp cell. Um, it still easily lasts us the day, even when we absolutely hammer it again. Although we can't quite manage to get two full days out of it like we can with the Honor View 20. Good news is though, they both charge up nice and nipply uh, when it comes time to stick them on. Supercharge here on the View 20, you get a half charge in about half an hour. The OnePlus 6T, similar sort of results with that dash charge tech. And neither phone can charge wirelessly, but who really gives us stuff? And so last but certainly not least of all, let's talk about that camera tech. And again, the hardware is very different on both of these smartphones. Here on the OnePlus 6T, you get a dual lens setup. It's a 16 megapixel primary camera, f1.7, and a 20 megapixel secondary camera, again, f1.7. You've got a bit of optical image stabilization thrown in there just to help out with nice, steady, blur-free photos. Here on the Honor View 20, it's actually a single lens that's available for your general photos and videos. It's a 48 megapixel low, so certainly packs in the detail. And there is a secondary lens. It's a time of flight lens that's actually used in uh, for the likes of 3D modeling because it can accurately record distances between yourself and a subject. That doesn't actually do anything at the moment, unfortunately. We're still waiting on an update from Honor that brings that into play, kind of similar to the Oppo RX17 Pro. And when it comes to the software, it's a very different story on both of these smartphones as well. You get a pretty good auto mode on uh, both of these smartphones and generally pick out the correct settings for the specific environmental conditions. Here on the Honor View 20, you do get Huawei's AI mode on board as well. However, this can uh, make colors look a bit more bold. It can add filter style effects. And the overall results, you've got to say, we are very impressed by it. It's also particularly good if you're shooting human subjects because it'll automatically switch to the portrait mode. Both phones have a portrait mode. It's actually better here on the OnePlus 6T, however. We have to say, because of that dual lens setup, uh, you get a nice crisp shot of your subject with a nice blurry background every time. Here on the View 20, we've seen a few little mistakes here and there. Occasionally, a bits of the background will be crisp just like the subject. That is of course because it just uses the single lens for the portrait snaps. Both phones have a pro mode as well so you've got full manual controls if you need them. And here on the OnePlus 6T you can actually shoot raw images as well if you want to edit on the fly. We've got to say we do like the bit of histogram action as well, very snazzy. And of course you get a funky night mode on both smartphones as well. We found on the View 20 it does work slightly better. It's a similar sort of setup though, it's a uh, long exposure shot basically. Um, you tend to get slightly more oversaturated lighter areas with the night modes here on the OnePlus 6T but it's still pretty strong results. Definitely if you want to be taking a lot of low light shots both phones uh, are up to the job. 
When it comes to the video, you can shoot up to 4K resolution footage here on the OnePlus 6T at up to 60 frames per second. Impressive stuff indeed. Here on the Honor View 20, you can again shoot in 4K, but not at 60 FPS. That option is only available at 1080p. But the good news is the results are solid with both of these smartphones. Image stabilization is pretty damn good, even at that 4K level. Definitely impressive. And you've got the usual slow motion shenanigans, if that's your bag. You can actually go up to 960 frames per second here on the Honor View 20. Here on the OnePlus 6T, you've only got a choice of 240 or 480 fps and as you can see of course it dials down to 720p once you get past that 240 frames per second it's 720p here on the honor view 20 as well at that high frame rate and if we swap on around to the front facing cameras it's a 25 megapixel snapper here on the honor view 20 and it's a 16 megapixel here on the OnePlus 6T. both perfectly fine for your everyday snaps and they do have a dedicated portrait mode on both of them as well so you can keep yourself nice and crisp and fuzz out the background and of course you've got that ai mode again in action here on the view 20. so that right there is hopefully for you a pretty comprehensive uh, look at the differences between the honor view 20 and the oneplus 6t hopefully that's giving you an idea of which one might be best for you for us it is a tough choice we're probably leaning slightly more towards the view 20 it's a little bit more affordable and uh, of course little things like as well like it's got the more up-to-date chipset the battery life's that little bit stronger as well now the OnePlus 6T is still fantastic value, great specs, and uh, we really love that Oxygen OS as well. So let us know what you think down in the comments below. Which one would you be more tilted towards? And stay tuned because we've got more on the Honor View 20. We've got more on the latest Honor smartphones. And the OnePlus 7 is probably not that far off as well. So subscribe and ding that notifications bell. And thanks for watching, everyone. Love you.